two, three. Hey guys, Joan. I'm Zen. Uh, we're here to talk about the chosen ones, what we think looks awesome that you should bring into your garden centers this week. Um, got some really exciting ones and these tend to go really fast. So this is um, Con Condelaria majalis. I think I'm pronouncing that right. You can see the buds starting to form there. These are gonna fly out of here and we don't often get them. So if you want them, now's the time. And they'll be turning white and be in full bloom probably by the time they've got it here next week. Yeah, look it up, little snowdrop flowers. They're really pretty. And Dicentra um, Valentine, this is this is really popular too. Mark, if you could kind of zoom in on the flower, it's so cool. Um, and these are just budding out and are gonna be blooming in the next couple weeks. So. Um, only one crop of these, I would suggest, if you want these, bring them in. Yeah. Um, this is Asplenium trichomanes, and we have a lot of these, but it's just a really cool Asplenium. It stays so nice and compact. Great one for a stumpery or any kind of compact shade area. Um, Tritoscantia Sweet Kate, this is a really popular one for us. I have this in my garden um, at my house, and I love it. It's really um, a great performer. It just blooms and blooms and blooms and blooms. This is Olaria, the daisy bush. This is a great uh, drought tolerant plant. It gets lots of little fragrant white flowers on it. And it gets fairly large, I think. It gets to be a pretty big shrub. Yeah, I have, I put it in my yard because Mike, our um, head grower, loves it. So, yeah, <laughs> he thinks it's a great plant. Um, we're super excited to have Flomus back in stock. I wanted to point this out. We did not have it, this available last year because we were building our stock back of it, but it's we have it again. The flower is really nice and unusual. Hummingbirds love this. Another drought tolerant plant. Uh, it does great in full sun. Yeah. Ooh, this is Tradescantia oh, sweet. Pea. I already talked about oh. that, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was obviously not listening. Sorry, Joan. <laughs> I think it's cool too. Um, guess what's back? The hardy fuchsias. This is Golden Herald. And um, we have this and a couple others on. We're getting more later. Yeah, this is checkerboard. That's that's um, ready right now. And then this one is dying embers. Terrible name. Great plant. <laughs> <laughs> Great. No plant. buds yet, but these go fast. So get yeah. them now. They'll be blooming before you know it. And they're just the perfect size to sell and getting them in the ground right now. And Mark is our little expert on hardy fuchsias. And if he was in front of the camera instead of behind it, he would tell you to plant these really deep, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you would bury it to what, about here? Get these in the ground if, yeah. you're, if you're planting this. So you can tell your customers that plant these deep. Anyway, um, there's tons of plants that look great. They'll be all in our availability, but we wanted to show you what's blooming and just extra special right now. Thanks, guys.